WUSA 9 Sports with Darren Haynes, sponsored by Xfinity. I'm Darren Haynes at the Capitals Iceplex, and today, I'm on Puppy Patrol. <laughs> today was Washington Capitals K-9 Calendar Pitcher Day. <laughs> Dogs, big and small, took pictures with some of the Capitals' biggest stars. The coolest thing is uh, lots of players have uh, their own dogs, and uh, they came here uh, hanging out. And it's great to get the dogs out here and and get everyone together. And any excuse there's any excuse to get back together with the teammates is always great. Some of the dogs were pitcher ready. Others, mm, still working on it. The hardest part is probably get the dogs to look in the camera, I think, so <laughs> all of them are, are great. And so great, the players' kids even love them. I got my little guy over there playing with the puppies and we're not taking one home. What if the little one wanted to take a puppy home? Nope, nope. They can, the kids can have one when they can take care of it themselves. I got, uh, I got two on my hands here. So if you can't have a dog, get the calendar. All proceeds go to Wolf Trap Animal Rescue, an animal transport and adoption program, and Monumental Sports and Entertainment Foundation. All of us get excited about this. I mean, raising money, giving back to the community. I mean, that's, that's so important. What's up, Darcy? Hey, how's it going? Hey, the Washington Capitals aren't the only professional athletes in D.C. working with pets for a good cause. The Washington Commanders are doing the same. James Smith Williams is helping to make shelters for survivors of domestic violence more pet friendly so that they can escape abuse and heal together. James Smith Williams plays defense for the Washington Commanders, but off the field, he defends survivors of domestic violence. I've been doing domestic violence stuff for a while. It's not really a highlight of calls, but they stay in their situation, you know, because pets are an extension of their family. According to Purple Leash Project, only 15% of domestic violence shelters allow pets. So Smith Williams teamed up with Purina and Red Rover's Purple Leash Project, an initiative to increase pet-friendly domestic abuse shelters. We went to a shelter in Arlington and we kind of just helped them, you know, I built a dog house out there, making them more pet-friendly and, you know, they really highlight the need of, yeah, we have people who come here with pets and so having this facility, it's, it's really important. James says he's been an advocate to stop domestic violence since college and hopes his efforts will end sooner than later. I want there to be no role for me anymore, like domestic violence isn't a thing. How old are you, man? 25. You're 25 years old. A lot of people at the age of 25 are not doing things to help out victims of domestic violence. Where does that come from within you? That's the right thing to do. You know, if you're a good man, what are you doing? I always carried that around with me, so that's what got me going on this path. Now, James Smith Williams will continue to use his platform to make sure survivors of domestic violence and their pets stay together by wearing custom purple leash cleats for the Commander's Week 13 game this season. Reporting from Ashburn, I'm Darren Haynes, W, USA 9 Sports.